Hello, I'm Gary Chapin from the Center for Collaborative Education, and we will continue our journey through a series of videos that will help us understand the different parts of the quality performance assessment process. In this video, we'll explore the role of professional learning communities, PLCs, in our work. It's important to note that in work with performance assessment, collaboration is not simply an additional good thing. It is essential to the successful change of practice and culture. In the standard QPA design sequence, for example, there are no less than three formal points that require collaboration, validation, calibration, and looking at student work, with many other informal opportunities also available. The value of PLCs is in providing structures that focus the conversation onto student achievement in a way that will nurture it. If you can frame and stage these conversations in such a way that student work is at the center, teaching practice and school culture will improve and student achievement will rise. The shift in culture that this model proposes can be seen in the below chart. We move away from focusing on what is covered, well I taught it, they must have learned it, to a focus on what explicitly was learned. We move away from coverage of content that is outlined in standards documents to students demonstrating proficiency in essential curriculum. It could be any of these things, from providing feedback on an assessment design or rubric to helping a colleague through a dilemma in their practice. The important piece is that the team exists in a space of trust and that the focus is on the work and on the students. PLCs operate with structures, conversational protocols, roles, norms, etc. And the most basic of these is the agenda. Simply put, it's a plan for the conversation that will happen. What will the topic be? What protocols might be used? Who will facilitate? Even if you don't have an agenda when the PLC meets, it's worth taking a few minutes to sketch one out to anchor your time together. Norms are agreements within a PLC on how they'll behave in their conversations. Sometimes these can seem artificial. Folks might say, we're adults, can't we just talk? But explicitly stating expectations can create an efficient and safe conversation space. A norm of opening and closing on time may improve efficiency. A norm about assuming best intentions may improve atmosphere or the mindset of the team. A norm asking for one minute of thinking time before a question is addressed can help less gregarious folks gather their best thinking before the talking begins. The looking at assessment work protocol is one of the most powerful that we use. In it, a team will look at a piece of student work and discuss what can be found there. There are any number of reasons to do this as can be seen in this chart from addressing next steps with the students to making edits in the rubric. It's a protocol that surfaces understandings about our students and how they interact with our assessments. The looking at student work protocol is tool 14 in the QPA guide. It might be useful to follow along as we continue. The below video shows the looking at assessment work protocol in action, if we can call it action. Watch and consider how you see collaboration emerging from this protocol. Now that you've watched the video alone or with your team, engage in a brainstorm. What sorts of questions can be addressed by looking at student work in a protocol such as this? Pause this module so you can have some time to think. Welcome back. For more resources or to dig deeper into this topic, please visit our website, explore the learning platform, or reach out to a member of the QPA team. Thank you so much from the Center for Collaborative Education. See you next time.